Welcome to the Dave Show. My name is Dave, and today I'm here to talk about this smart watch. They call it a, a military watch, fitness watch type of thing for men. Now, this does a lot of stuff, and the company did send me this product for review, but they wanted me to show you what it is and how it works. So let's take a closer look at this watch, and there's also a fitness app that I'm going to show you, and we're going to connect the two together, and I'm going to go over all the bells and whistles. Let's take a closer look. Okay, here's what you're going to get in the package. You do get a little screen protector. If you can see, it's all clear plastic. Little tabs on there. You want to make sure you clean that off really well before you stick on this protective little uh, bit to it. Uh, but if you've done those before, you know what is going on with that. You do get a charger for it, a cable. Uh, you do need your own... Um, uh, power brick or power source and then the other part of it has got this little magnetic thing so if you're familiar with little smart watches they all kind of have that and it just goes on here to the back with the little pins uh, just like that you see it just snaps on really strong plug that in and it charges your um, your watch up very nice now this has got a very very long lasting um, battery in it as well so you don't need to charge it up very often and then of course you're going to get the the watch and then the manual now the manual has different languages in here um, and then like this one let's see where's the English here's the English is kind of in the middle uh, with all the the features and so forth which I'm going to show you a lot of this anyways okay so the watch comes with the band already attached to it uh, and it's a nice little kind of the silicone rubbery kind of band nice and thick and this is the screen to it it's actually really lightweight but it's supposed to be very durable now it looks like there's a lot of different things going on but none of this is is active this is not uh, there's no buttons on this side so there's only two buttons here and here this says power this says sport so if you press it the uh, watch face comes on. Now I changed it from the original watch face. And to do that's real simple is you can just press and hold this down. There we go. So now you can swipe through different watch faces depending on what you want it to do and then tap it to go onto there. And then as you saw when I swiped it over, you're gonna have different features you can see. So activities, heart rate, uh, sleep cycles, your oxygen level, the weather, local weather. And then you can add other favorites onto it as well and then back. Now, if we swipe up, this goes to messages. So what that means is you can actually connect this, and I'll show you how on the app, to your, you know, your emails, your Facebook, your text messages, any of that kind of stuff. Those can show up here if you want. If we swipe down, you've got your battery indicator. It's connected, the date, in different settings, um, night settings, your, your um, brightness. Now, if you don't have it so bright, um, the battery will last longer as well. There we go. Um, this one here is a low power mode. Um, this is your vibration and ringing modes. This little hand here tells you that if you if you raise your, your wrist, it will um, activate. And then you have like a more settings. So display settings, this is kind of everything. Um, audio Bluetooth, uh, this is, uh, oh, your phone on. Uh, now let's talk about the phone on part right now then. Um, you can set this up to make calls and receive calls right on your watch. I did this, I tested it, I called my mom at home and she was able to answer and hear me and I was able to talk to her and hear her as well. So you can make and place phone calls right on your watch. Uh, pretty nice. And then the more system information, oh, that's the power off, you don't want to power off. The sport button here also is a back button, so let's back out um, there. So that gives you those menus. Now, if you swipe this direction, you can do different things, too. This is more access. This is just another access to um, music, uh, fitness. Now, let's talk about fitness real quick. This has like 170 different uh, fitness options. You just select the one that you are doing, and it will track all your fitness stuff, and you can add more to it as well. Um, and then you've got your messages and other things, too, uh, listed there. So that you can see there's a lot of different options you can get to right here on your watch again i hit the sport button and it goes into more options so you have your heart rates and your blood oxygens and all your stuff tons and tons of options you can get to right on your phone but now let's take a look at the app because that's an important part of this watch situation okay so what you want to do is you're going to download the app as the duff fit app here and um 
this is your home page to it. Now, this uses a, a lot of watches use this app, and I've used this before several times. But when you come right on, you do have to register it. You put your basic information in, go through it. It's very simple. It's free. Um, and then the very front page when you open it up gives you information like steps, sleep. Now, I just got this watch in. I just put it on for a little bit, so that's why you only see it's got a few steps on it. Um, heart rate information, blood pressure, oxygen. Now I do want to tell you that the blood pressure and oxygen and things like that that normally use a special type of uh, metering device, medical device to get accurate. Um, the, this is just kind of a little estimate. If something is, is going consistently and then all of a sudden it changes, you might want to um, get it checked out. Uh, this is not for medical advice or uh, uh, anything like that. So you want to make sure you're tracked out, but this just gives you some guidelines a little bit, um, some stress, some outdoor running information. So you get a lot of information in here, and then if you tap it, it'll go into more information. So this gives you all the more details and, and tracking and so forth, as you can see. Um, let's see, heart rates. This gives you trends. Um, lots of stuff. So you can just tap into each one of those. Now, oh, there we go. So if you hit the middle button, um, this goes to the watch information. Now, I did have to connect it. Uh, and to connect it is just to, through the Bluetooth of your phone. Very simple, very easy. You open it up. It will look for this watch, which is the, the C20 Pro. And it's connected. Now, watch faces. You can actually... Um, I saw it showed you you can change it on the watch, but you can also change it here. Um, and if, if you don't like any of these, you come over to the face gallery and it's going to pull up all kinds of really cool artistic sports, holidays, um, whatever it is that you want. I mean, this thing can go on for, for a long time. I like that one with the space guy. Let's go ahead and download that. So that's just going to take a couple seconds to download the file and uh, load it onto the watch. Okay, so then it's a download finish, and you see now the watch face has got the, the cool little spaceman on it. Very, very nice, very simple and easy. Um, now going down, we've got notifications. So if you click into that, you can turn on the notifications. So right now I have my phone and, and uh, text messages in it, but if you want your Facebook, Twitter, blah, 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 all the way down, you can activate those, and those will come across your uh, watch as well. Um, alarms, you can set up alarms to your watch. Shutter. So now this is actually going to operate the phone with your watch. So if you want, you know, you had your, your phone set up uh, on a tripod or something, you can just use your watch to hit the button and it will take a picture. Contacts. Now this one here is you can add favorite contacts. So if you hit the add button, it goes through your phone book and you can add contacts to your watch. And that's for uh, making phone calls and so forth. Others, click that. Now this one here is a lot of device information, time format, unit system, uh, your do not disturbs, reminders, uh, reminders to move. That's one there. So if you want something to uh, remind you to get up out of your seat every hour, you can do that. Um, stress monitoring, control your music with this, battery saving language, auto lock, reset. Um, let's see, there's more information. Uh, drink water reminder. You can do that as well. Psychological cycle reminder uh, lots and lots of different things and this is you can set up the weather information here as well um, and then upgrade you can upgrade um, the software it uh, looks like I might have to do that um, I'll do that later uh, very simple there and then you hit this far side button with a little person this is your profile so now you can set up your own personal profile put your weight put your uh, height put your goals in there um, you can do stuff. If you have Google Fit, it'll attach to that. And then this is more information as well. So you can see it does a whole lot of stuff on this watch. Again, this is uh, rated up to 50 meters for diving. Uh, it's supposed to be very strong, very durable, and long-lasting battery. Uh, really, really cool. Okay, what I'm going to do is just a quick little water test here. There's a little stopwatch. I'm going to hit the start button on the stopwatch, and I'm going to put it in water. Now, this is only like a couple of inches of water. This is not 30 meters. Um, I would probably never be down in 30 meters. I do not dive. If anything, snorkeling and, you know, or just wading in a pool or something like that. So a couple feet at the most for me. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave that here in the water for a while and then i will come back and we'll test it after a few minutes just to see how well it does uh, underwater okay well that's been five minutes so i think that's a pretty good little test we'll go ahead and stop it oh i got my when there's water on it sometimes the screens don't uh, react to the touch 
uh, and that's pretty common there we go stop it there and we can back out now also this to show you where that was that was here there's stopwatches there's timers there's calculators um again there's there's so much different things here uh find your phone a little stress thing <laughs> music i mean you, there's all kinds of stuff you, you get the idea you can pretty much do everything on this uh watch very nice so uh there that's the uh the water test so there you have it, a detailed look at this military watch. Um, it, it, it feels good, it looks good, it's got all the bells and whistles and features you'd ever want to do.